What's happening YouTube? It's Kyle Regal, Avery Excavating. Going to do a video sort of in collaboration with Extreme Sandbox and those guys over there. So here we go. What we're doing today, we're going to backfill or continue backfilling this new construction house. Um, it's a block foundation, so there's some things I'll talk about and discuss with that. But basically, we have to take that big pile of dirt over there, the lighter colored one, and move it basically right in this ditch line. We'll call it a ditch here, but it's all going to go up over there. So, here we go. The machine we are running, machines I should say, this is the 2018 Cabelco SK140 zero swing unit. It is the 90 2s, so it's a 92 horse machine. So when you're tracking up these hills like this, it's going to be like an educational video. I'm going to try and teach you guys as I'm doing this. Tracking up hills, everybody wants to know how to run an excavator, how to backfill a house, how to run an excavator, so by golly we're going to give you guys a short one-on-one -on -one class. So I'm just moving this topsoil real quick. This site is, is interesting in our soils up here. Uh, we're in northern Michigan, northwestern Michigan, Traverse City region. We're north of Traverse about a half an hour or so. Uh, but most of the material that we work in up here is pretty much sugar sand. This site, when we first got here last year to clear it, uh, was obviously, well, not obvious, but it had a lot of these, these red pine, red pine, jack pine, whatever you want to call them. And so, uh, I thought, ah, for sure it's going to be sand, easy drain field, I mean, as far as permitting goes and good drainage for the house because you want sand around the house versus clay or anything like that. Well, when we cleared it, all of the, all of the, uh, we pulled the trees and the stumps and all that good stuff, it was a bunch of clay. Like, I was, it was pretty heavy clay soil. So, I told the homeowner, that, hey, you're probably going to have pretty heavy clay soils when we dig this, so you're going to have to be prepared for basically some additional expenses. Because you can't, I mean, you can. You, you can do, <laughs> you can backfill and do anything with any kind of material, but... Uh, you don't want clay up against the house. It just doesn't drain, holds water, cold, all that kind of stuff. So I told them then that we're probably going to have to haul some sand in. And uh, get her fixed up. So that's what we did. And then making a walk out so we carve out I mean, you can kind of see what we carved out and put up against the side right there and now we're waiting for the builders to finish they'll be done today we'll get the rest of our footing drain in along there it's how it's on the, the front side but we'll get our footing drain in over on the left side of your screen which is the north well, maybe later today we can get that finished, but like I said, we need some more sand. Drew's coming with a dump truck here in another hour and a half or two, maybe. And uh, we'll get some more sand, we'll get our drain pipe in. Builders will be gone tomorrow, they'll be done. This was a modular, they set it. It's really cool to watch these things get set, but. Uh, so that's the plan, I'm just making a 
ramp for Mr. Mason there. And he's about to rock. So it's not the ideal situation to have this dirt pile 50 yards away from the, where it's got to go. And especially move with a skid steer. But the truth is, uh, I, the guys I used to work for, I moved mountains of dirt with a little John Deere, uh, with a little John Deere, like, 30, 40 horse tractor or something. And I moved it a lot further than what old Mason is going to have to do. What I've done is I basically dug a hole in the middle of this pile and then I climbed up over that edge there and started pushing that dirt towards Mason. So the goal of any earth moving operation how fast, how efficient can you move the material? So there's a lot of different angles in this terrain around here. Different slopes and whatnot. So you've got to kind of work with what you got. And I'm just sort of, truthfully, I don't have a plan on how I'm chewing away at this hill. So I'm on one side and then I'm on the other. But now, I've got a runway, and I can shovel five yards of dirt over here, and track right over here, push it over to Mason, it just helps him get a little bit closer, and he's got a super easy spot to load, to scoop the dirt. wanted to talk about and mention is that the reason why we put this dirt so far away, I mean obviously it would have been better like where that pile of pea stones at over there, we could have put it there, we could have put it, you know, in that general area. But the problem and the things that we need to think about, and you never like necessarily gonna get it perfect, but try your best and most of the time you hit the target. <clears throat> but the reason why we had to put it out here so far was because the house is a modular and they brought the house in on, on trailers. So they needed room to put the houses. One, they got to get them in here. Uh, two, they kind of got to store them for... I think they were here for a couple days or maybe a week or something. So the one half, they pulled and they put it up over there for the time being. And then the other half, they put over there by the gray truck. I mean, when those two houses were sitting here, so level. When those two houses were sitting here on the trailers, there just wasn't wasn't any room 
there wouldn't have been any room for a pile of dirt. So that's why we put the dirt where we put the dirt this time. Still that On the dot, like 3.30. We're going to wrap it up for the day. Today is Thursday. And uh, we did. We moved all that dirt in about an hour and a half on the dot. I think we did start at, uh, I can't remember if it was 1.30 or 2. But either way, hour and a half, two hours to move all that. Filled this whole side of the hill here. There's still quite a bit. I mean, there's still a lot of work to do get it done tomorrow. We've got it in here. A couple hours yet here today. Uh, Drew will be here any minute with sand. So that'll be good. Get sand up against the house. Oh, I'm just roughing this in. Nothing fancy. All we're going to do is this trip out. Get the rough grade done. We've got to put in electrical conduit from the house there just behind the packer. Uh, over to, you guys can see, over to that red stake just behind that tree over there. So, we'll get that in tomorrow. Tonight, we may finish the footing drain, foundation drain. Uh, or we'll, I don't know what we'll do tonight, but afternoon, I should say, but yeah, yeah, that is all for today, thanks for watching, we'll see you on the next go-round. part here and lifts there and then uh, we'll get that back part.
Moving on. Backfill program. Coming along pretty well. Yeah. Uh-huh.